hello friends welcome to our channel be here today our video is on angina pectoris we know that angina is a medical term for chest pain caused by insufficient blood flow to the heart by coronary arteries so in this video we will discuss types clinical manifestation diagnosis and management the term angina pectoris derived from latin word angeris and pectus angeris means to strangle or squeezing of the neck pectus means chest and it is translated as strangling feeling in the chest angina is not a disease it is a clinical syndrome characterized by pain or pressure in the chest caused by insufficient coronary blood flow to the heart and the results are decrease oxygen supply to the cardiac muscles when there is increased myocardial demand of oxygen in response to physical exertion or emotional stress the types of angina pectoris listed in this chart first one is stable angina also known as effort angina because this type of angina is occurs on exertion and relieved by rest and nitroglycerin second one is unstable angina also known as pre infractional or crescendo angina in this type of angina symptoms are increased in frequency and severity and may not relieved by rest or nitroglycerin next one is intractable angina they also known as refractory angina in this type of angina chest pain is chronic result by insufficient blood flow to the heart muscles and in which treatment as medical and surgical management is insufficient Prismental angina, referred as variant angina, is a temporary increase in coronary vessel spasm, pain at the rest with reversible ST segment elevation. Last one is silent ischemia. It is a condition in which an inadequate supply of oxygen-rich blood to the heart does not cause symptoms such as chest pain. Clinical manifestations: ischemia of the heart muscles may produce pain, choking. heavy sensation in the upper chest the pain is often retrosternal means pain occurs in the deep of the chest behind the sternum typically the pain is localized and may radiate to the neck jaw shoulder and usually to the left arm the patient often feel tightness or choking sensation the pain is accompanied by severe apprehension and feeling of impending death women may have different symptoms than men because coronary disease in women tends to be more diffuse and affects long segment of the coronary artery the symptoms are weakness or numbness in the arm wrist and hand shortness of breath pallor diaphoresis dizziness nausea and vomiting the diagnosis of angina begins with the patient history related to the clinical manifestation of ischemia a 12 lead ecg may show changes indicative of ischemia such as t wave inversion laboratory studies are performed these may include crp and cardiac biomarkers such as myoglobin and troponin first one is creatinine kinase ckmb is a cardiac specific isoenzyme it is mainly found in cardiac cell the level begins to increase within few hours and peak within 24 hours of an mi second one is myoglobin myoglobin is found in cardiac and skeletal muscles the myoglobin level start to increase within 1 to 3 hours and peak within 12 hours after the onset of symptoms troponin troponin is a protein found in myocardium and increased level of troponin in the serum can detect within few hours of mi it increases within few hours remains elevated for a long period often long as 3 weeks nuclear scan nuclear scan is a heart imaging test that help to determine if a plaque narrowed the coronary artery coronary angiography is a procedure that used a contrast medium or dye and x ray to see how blood flow through the coronary arteries The objectives of the medical management of angina are to decrease the oxygen demand of the myocardium and increase the oxygen supply. Alternatively, a reperfusion procedure may be used to restore the blood supply to the heart. These include PTCA and CBG. 
pharmacological therapy the following medications are used to treat angina first one is nitroglycerin nitroglycerin is a vasoactive agent it dilates primarily the vein and in high dose it dilates the arteries it is administered to reduce myocardial oxygen consumption and decrease ischemia and relieve pain sublingual nitroglycerin is ideally alleviate the pain of ischemia within 3 minutes second beta blockers beta blockers such as metoprolol etanolol reduce oxygen consumption by blocking the beta receptors of the heart result is a reduction in heart rate decrease blood pressure and reduce myocardial contractility to balance the myocardial oxygen need it is also reduce the incidence of recurrent angina infarction and cardiac mortality calcium channel blocker such as amlodipine and dalgem decrease s node automaticity and ab node conduction result in a slower heart rate and decrease myocardial contraction calcium channel blocker increase myocardial oxygen supply by dilating the smooth muscle wall of coronary arteries and decrease myocardial oxygen demand antiplatelet medications such as aspirin and clopidogrel are administered to prevent platelet aggregation and thrombosis aspirin prevent platelet aggregation and reduce the incidence of mi and death in patient with cad and clopidogrel is given in addition to aspirin in a patient at high risk of mi anticoagulants such as heparin and low molecular weight heparin prevent the formation of new blood clot and it reduce the occurrence of mi anticoagulants heparin prevent the formation of new blood clot and it reduce the occurrence of mi low molecular weight heparin or enoxaparin provides effective and stable anticoagulants potentially reducing the risk of rebound ischemic event and eliminate the need of epidemic monitoring